as a fighter, I think I had a lot, you know, I don't think I had a favorite fighter. I had a lot of a lot of different fighters and I kind of learned from a lot of different fighters as well. And, and uh, meeting Mike Tyson as well, he's, he's one of the biggest guys that I always wanted to meet. And once I met him, he, he gave me some advice as well. And, um, well, just, just to be careful, you know, outside of the ring. Inside of the ring, he says that I'm doing good and all that, but just to be careful outside of the ring and all the people you hang out with, and just be humble and, um, you know, just to take this serious. Few months ago, you went to Mexico and visited a bunch of prisoners in jail. Can you tell us about that experience and how people received you and what type of message you sent to them? You know what? I went over there to Monterrey, um, one of the oldest prisons over there in Mexico that was there since 1943, and they destroyed it on was it September 30th, and it was an honor to talk to the to the prisoners out there. You know, especially the prisoners that are that are getting out, I just wanted to tell them, you know, that everything is possible, that if you you have a dream, you wanna do something big, if you wanna um, come home, you know, um, healthy and to feed, to provide for your family, you just gotta work hard, you know? Nobody wants to be in, in jail for a long time, being away from your family, so I was just seeing some, some things like that, but even the prisoners that couldn't go down there to see like little, the little fight that was going on, I even went all the way on top of there and with them, and um, they, they, they received me really well, man. Good thing I didn't have right. anything. <laughs> Andy, it looks like Josh was slimming down for this fight. The last face up, did you feel a difference between the first time you fought him? Did he look smart to you, or how did he, how did he fight him on? Yeah, you know, he looks a little slimmer, but. I don't think that's gonna do, do any any different, you know. And you can do whatever you want outside the ring, but inside the ring when it's fight time, like my Tyson says, everyone has a plan until you get hit. So uh, that's what we're gonna, we're gonna find out December seventh. How was that uh, top boxing with, with Mike Tyson? How was being on the podcast? It was an honor, man. It was an honor to be there, especially with him. It was just, Hugging me, kissing me in my cheek. So <laughs> he's, he's, a, he's a really cool guy, man. A really humble guy. And um, he's just giving me props, you know. He's a really, really humble guy. Last fight, Anthony Joshua let you hold his hold the belt. Are you gonna let him touch the belt this time around? No, they told me too. They're like, hey, are you gonna let him hold the belt? I was like, I don't know. He's in, he has to win me first. <laughs> but I don't know. I'm not bitter, man.